My name is Naya Bali. I am proud Pakistani transgender woman. I am gender expert and working for transgender rights. Uh, this is a uh, transgender community center and shelter home. This is the only place for transgender community available in Islamabad, the capital city of Pakistan. This is uh, the part of our campaign as well. Uh, this is the safe space, safe home for the victims of violence, the transgender community across the Pakistan who face uh, um, any kind of violence, abuse, assault. They can contact us. We, we provide them legal assistance. We provide them shelter, hot meals, and all that stuff they require. I am the most internationally awarded transgender person in South Asia. The award that I am mostly proud of, these are my assets cards. Uh, you can see on my chin, on my neck, and I'm mostly proud of them because uh, let me tell you a story behind of them. One of my transgender sister uh, was raped by a gang and she came to me and she was crying. Uh, she wants a legal help. I decided to go with her. We lodged an FIR and we went in the court and after the issues, uh, after the issue settled down, uh, they started threatening me. And I was dancing on a festival and they came to me and they threw an asset on me and during that time period when I was on a bed in hospital and struggling with my life and death so I thought about my existence I thought all the sufferings that I have faced I recall all the operation operations that me and my community face in regular life at that time i committed myself that i have to do something positive i have to change the life of transgender community that was the commitment that turned an ordinary nayab ali to a leading transgender rights defender. Transgender people are deprived from every walk of life. They have no access to public offices, um, public places, and from every fundamental right. I always has been targeted like my tra other transgender sisters um, uh, have, uh, because being a transgender person in Pakistani society and, and, and society like ours, um, is the biggest risk when whenever you come up with your identity your life is on a diet threat um, and uh, but when you are a community leader you are a community activist you are a human right defender so uh, so the risk is on walking i i also want to share that i'm proud survivor of two murder attempts and one kidnapping i was attacked by some anonymous people uh, i contacted to, uh, to the authorities on every level uh, but 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 the struggle was in vain and nobody was ready to give me protection and my life was on diet threat um, so uh, at that time when I um, uh, I received a support from UN special procedures so there was no option to refuse that support because that was the only way the only support that can I that I can get at that time of need it uh, it not only boosted accelerated my uh, legal um, uh, proceedings uh, but I got protection from the state side as well uh, uh, but uh, the reality and the fact is uh, my perpetrators are uh, are still free they are not behind the bar Something I'm very proud of and I think this is the biggest victory for transgender and Khwajasara community in Pakistan is a legal protection framework. It was an act which was passed back in 2018 called Transgender Rights Protection Act. It not only gives a self-perceived gender identity, but also ensures all fundamental rights that other citizens of Pakistan have. When law was being made, I drafted initial draft for the government of Pakistan. Um, 
and later on we did advocacy with the all parliamentarians and the government level to make sure that law is passed and we we uh, made some strategies like uh, uh, we created some political pressure we formed a national transgender election network first time in the history of pakistan and uh, uh, i was the national coordinator of that network this was the toughest time when um, uh, the election season was uh, there and 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 we started advocacy um, with with the relevant parliamentarians uh, now government are seriously including transgender community in every legal policy making process they the other province are also involved in uh, making new laws for the protection of vulnerable groups and i develop i am also developing that Uh, um, documents for the government of Pakistan you always heard that transgender community uh, are living in hell they are living in danger their life are in danger so we we focused on uh, legal reforms as well we focus on uh, law enforcement agency reforms we involve them and i help to the government of Pakistan to establish crime reporting centers what do transgender right defenders like me living uh, in societies like us uh, needs to do their jobs better uh, there is a two things one is uh, uh, there is a financial sustainability uh, and financial assurity uh, uh, and on the other hand uh, there is a pro- life protection uh, and the third thing is which is uh, the most important thing the assurity of their lives the assurity of their survival um, that if they will advocate for the rights of vulnerable groups they they are safe they are living in a safe spaces communities like us we face trauma on regular basis we face threat to our life but this they can't stop us for advocating for human rights but it can be a source of courage inspiration the words of famous poet dylan thomas came to mind do not go gentle into that good night rage rage against the dying of the light and that light is activism thank you